The ongoing conflict between Israel and Hezbollah has reached new levels of intensity, marked by a series of unprecedented air strikes on Lebanon. Israeli forces launched these attacks on Hezbollah strongholds in southern Beirut, resulting in significant casualties, including both civilians and Hezbollah operatives. The most heavily bombed areas were in Behia, a neighborhood long known for being a Hezbollah hub. The death toll has continued to rise, with dozens reported dead or wounded as buildings collapsed and rescue operations are ongoing. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, addressing the UN General Assembly, reaffirmed Israel's commitment to dismantling Hezbollah's military capabilities. He emphasized that the operation would not cease until Israel's objectives were achieved, which includes neutralizing threats from Hezbollah and ensuring the safety of Israeli civilians in the north. Netanyahu's remarks came amid mounting pressure for a ceasefire, with countries like France and even Israel's ally, the United States, calling for a de-escalation along the Israel-Lebanon border. However, Netanyahu rejected the ceasefire proposals, vowing to continue Israel's offensive with full force until Hezbollah is fully degraded. Hezbollah, closely aligned with Hamas, has retaliated by launching hundreds of missiles into Israel. The conflict has forced large numbers of people to flee their homes, and more than 600 people have reportedly died since the bombardment intensified earlier this week. With Israel signaling a potential ground invasion of Lebanon, the situation appears to be on the brink of a full-scale war, reminiscent of the 2006 conflict. Israel has already struck over 200 Hezbollah targets, including weapons storage sites and launchers, and is preparing for further military action. The strikes are part of a broader strategy by Israel to prevent Hezbollah from receiving arms shipments, particularly from Iran. The IDF, that is Israel Defense Forces, have also attacked infrastructure along the Lebanese-Syrian border to disrupt weapons transfers. While Hezbollah refuses to back down unless Israel halts its operations in Gaza, the conflict has drawn in various regional and international actors. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas has called for an immediate ceasefire, labeling the situation madness and urging the United Nations to intervene more forcefully. Despite the calls for peace, the fighting rages on, leaving Lebanon, especially its southern regions, in devastation. The possibility of a prolonged and expanded conflict looms large, with no clear diplomatic solution in sight. The violence has already displaced hundreds of thousands of people, and unless negotiations prevail, the human toll will continue to rise. Stay subscribed for more videos.